Hey yo, what is up guys? Mr. Thunder Ray here and we are back playing some more Battle Cats today and we're going to be taking on the third the third stage of um, of Stories of Legend. Um, I think that's what it's called, right? Stories of Legend? I don't know. Um, back in this clip, uh, the Evangelion uh, event, Evangelion event is still going on, so we actually just got a new cat here, a new special cat, so that's pretty dope. Uh, let's go check him out. Um, Ka Ka Kaworu and Cat. So now we have two from this event, so that's cool. Good against black enemies. I probably won't use him that much just because um, he's a little exclusive, so not a lot of people will probably have him. Um, but it is cool just to collect. Uh, and it looks like it has three stages, which is awesome. Um, I know we said we wouldn't do any Gamma Toto stuff, so we're not going to. Um, but we do have this because we now have enough feathers to develop um, the slow beam. Well, not necessarily the slow beam, but like the base of it, um, the actual building part of it. Uh, so fast forward here, and it's actually already done. So let's check it out. Uh, as far as I know, I believe this part is strictly aesthetic. Um, like the actual base of the building doesn't do anything. It's only the it's only the beam that actually affects you. So this is all for customization. And if we take a look, uh, yeah, no effect on base function. It's all style. Okay, so that's cool though. Um, we might as well rock it just because we made it. Um, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> uh, so next we need four more feathers to get the next stage, and I don't believe we can't do anything until we've completed the beam before it, right? Yeah, okay. So we have to wait before we do that. Uh, so we need four feathers first, which we can... we'll probably do that eventually. Um, we're not going to farm these necessarily yet, but we'll if we get them along the way, we might as well use them. Um, but with that, let's go ahead over here. Uh, we did get a cat ticket, and I'm thinking we should. I think we should just use it, right? Um, let's go ahead and do the. Let's do. Um, I feel like we should do metal busters just because we don't have any anti-metal enemies. But then again. We're not really needing any Ubers, like we're not going to use any Ubers, but we might as well. Let's go ahead and use our 300 tickets, and let's see here. So we got a Rover, okay, we got a Gardener, alright, and lastly we got a, a Rocker, alright. So, not horrible, I mean, pretty horrible, but what are you going to do? <laughs> Uh, fast forward, we have two more cat tickets here, and let's go ahead and use it on the Gals of Summer, see if we can get one of those cool exclusive Ubers. Probably not, probably not, it's only two tickets, but might as well give it a shot here. We got Tin Cat, and we got, oh, we got a lucky ticket, of course, and we got, we got a uh, Wheel Cat, that's right, okay. So, um, pretty bad. <laughs> Pretty bad. Uh, we do have a starter special for the, for only 30 cat food, so we might as well use that as well. Um, see what we can get here. And it looks like it's gonna be. Oh, that's new. That is fencer cat. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. We got a new cat here. Um, and then we also got some cat food, or uh, not cat food, some lucky cat or some lucky tickets <laughs> um, from all that. So we have three now. Um, let's go ahead and use all three, I suppose. See what we can do here, see what we can get. Hopefully we can get some little cats from this. Um, Alright, we got a treasure get, that's always helpful. Um, treasure radar. Uh, speed up, eh, it's not super great. I speed, <laughs> I speed up the battles in my videos anyway, so it doesn't really affect that. And Either way, and then a uh, little cat, so that's pretty solid, I mean. At least we got one little cat. It's not a new one, but it'll still help us. Um, t -t 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 cat guide. Uh, we also got five cat food for getting that fencer cat, which is fantastic. Um, but with that, that is all the um, that's all the the managing we're gonna do before we get into the battles here. So with that, let's start our third stage here. The third th three star, of course, of Glu Glucosamin Desert. Glucosamine, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna stand here on the sand hill. Um, not too big, not too difficult of a level here. This is my lineup for this battle. 
and let's let's hop in and check it out. Um, hopefully the three star version won't be too bad because the one and two star were not too hard at all. Uh, so we're just gonna send on our wall cats, build up our uh, our wall cat a little bit, and then we're gonna send out the hamu. He's just basically gonna shred through the penguins and the pigs and the hippo. Um, and then some Titan Cats, some Paris Cats, some Dino Cats, whatever you need, and it's going to be an easy dub. So, first level, not too difficult at all. It's mainly just that Bahamut that's going to shred through the enemies. You probably don't even need them. You can use whatever you want. Um, but with that, let's jump into Ruins. Sussaman Ruins. Um, and again, we're just going to build up our Wallet Cat by sending out these Wall Cats. Eventually, once we get to level 5, um, we're just going to start saving up. We're going to buy a bunch of um, uh, whale cats as well as a Bahamut, and they're basically going to push back those pigs. Uh, normally, they would kill the pigs, but I guess <laughs> we just pushed them back enough that we didn't even need to. So that's fantastic. We destroyed the base, and another easy dub. Uh, this one, we have our poodles this round. We have black doges and poodles. So this is the uh, the lineup that we're going to go with here. And let's check it out. Um, this is the cave here. Um, so they're going to start off by sending out a, a gorilla. It's not too difficult. They're going to appear if they send them out. Just make sure you got a, you know, a Paris cat, a sex cat, whatever you need. And then while that's happening, while it's developing here, we're bringing up our wallet cat to level 4, sending on our Bahamut, and it's going to be enough, as well as some tin cats here and there to take care of those black doges. Um, but other than that, it's not too difficult of a level, um, and a pretty solid dub there. Um, I didn't mean to put those rewards in, it was just in the middle of our battles. Um, <laughs> it just struck in midnight, I guess, when I recorded this, so there's another, uh, another cat ticket for you guys, another 20 cat food as well. Uh, let's see here, okay, so now we got Katechen Hill. Um, we're gonna go ahead and, this is our lineup, and let's jump in here and see what we can do. So again, we're gonna build up our wallet cat. We're gonna send on our wall cats just to hold off these little minions. They're not gonna do too much damage to us because they are just a bunch of doges, snacks, and little people. Uh, but then we're gonna send out our our whale cats as well as a Bahamut, and then basically just everything else. Um, again, like we didn't actually have to kill any of them. Yeah, we uh, we were so we just kind of pushed them back and then started wailing on the base. So that's pretty solid. Um, this one, the sunset, we don't have any specific enemies, they're all just white enemies, so this is going to be our lineup. Um, nothing too specific here. And let's go ahead and change out... Uh, I guess we'll just throw in Valkyrie. There we go. Good enough. Okay, let's try it out. Um, I'm not going to try and pronounce these names. I <laughs> The sunset level. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and build up our wallet cat. We're gonna send out our wall cats as usual, hold off the little minions, and then once we have a decent amount, they're gonna send out an elephant and a um, and a hippo. We're just gonna send out our Bahamut and dragon cats and titan cats and basically just the entire arsenal. Um, it's gonna wail on that uh, that elephant. Not gonna be too big of an issue at all. And these two elephants that come out aren't even gonna stand a chance at hitting us. So we get another easy dub. 47,000 XP, and now we're on to Oasis here, and this one has a Master A. And if you remember from the last episode, we could not handle that guy very well because they sent on so many little um, alligators and stuff. Uh, but this time around, it's not as difficult. Um, I mean, they're sending out pigs and poodles, or pigs and poodles, um, penguins and poodles, and yes, they're stronger, but they're not constantly um, in the way, so we are going to able to, we are able to get a few extra hits on them, at least in this three-star version, because we have some decent cats to take them on. Um, the four-star version is a little tougher, though. Um, but as you can see there, not too big of an issue at all. He take care of them pretty quickly. And we got the dub on Oasis. And now we're almost there. Uh, we have Snowfield, which is going to be a, a two red enemies and a metal enemy. Uh, not too big of an issue. Um, we don't really need. Uh, it's not. It's not that tough at all. We just need. Uh, it's the beginning that's hard because they're going to send out two metal hippos and then uh, two pigs. And but once you take care of them, it's not too big of a problem. Um, they're also going to periodically send out more uh, pigs and more seals. Um, but if you send out a Bahamut and just protect him, he'll basically just do all the whaling on him that you need. Um, he'll take out the, the seals and the pigs. And then in the meantime, he'll also be taking out the metals. And over time, he will take out all of them. Um, so as long as you can pre protect that Bahamut, maybe supplement him with some Paris cats, shouldn't be too big of an issue at all. Uh, now we're on to this last level here on the mountain. And this one is just going to be sets of three um, do black doges that are going to come out at you. 
and it's pretty simple. We just need to uh, protect ourselves from those doges while we build up our wallet cat. So I'm sending out, um, you know, my meat shields, a Paris cat, and a couple tin cats just to bounce them back. Um, and once you have enough, once you max it out, you're going to want to send out your Bahamut and your Paris cats and basically just the rest of the arsenal. And it shouldn't be too big of an issue with all these, these, um, Dags huns, I think they're called. The you know the weenie dogs. They're they're weenies. They're not that big of, that big of a deal at all. Your Bahamut's gonna shred through them, and that is gonna be the last dub you need for this stage. And Hyaluronin Mountain will be done. Hyaluron, the mountain, the last stage. It's done. Perfect. Three stars is over. Now we're onto our four star stage. The final stage of the uh of the stage. I I don't I don't know what to call it guys, I don't. Um but there we are. We're gonna take on Sandhill here, four star stage. This is our lineup. Um it's not gonna change uh for that throughout this entire playthrough. Uh, we got the Samba Cat, the Wall Cat, or the Little Wall Cat, the Artist Cat, the Brawl Cats, the um the Tin Cat, and then um, as well as the uh, the Swordsman Cat, the Paris Cat, the Bondage Cat, the Valkyrie, and the Bahamut. And as you can see here, we're just basically spamming um, our Paris Cats and our Bahamut Cat. Just saying, um, for the most part, it's the similar. It's the, the, I can't speak. For the most part, the uh, the strategy is going to be the same throughout this whole thing. I mean, we're going to utilize Bahamut as much as we can, and we're going to supplement him with Paris Cats, as well as protect him with as many meat shields as we have. In my case, this is a Samba Cat and a little Wall Cat. If you guys have a different little cat that's still cheap, go for it. If you guys have um, any other kind of meat shield, just uh, use them. Um, even if they're you know a little bit more expensive, like 150, it's still solid. It'll still get you through the levels. Here again, we didn't even need to kill the uh, the pigs. We didn't even need any anti-red enemies for that fact, or for that matter. Um, you could say that I have swordsman cat, but I <laughs> he's level one. I don't I don't use him. Um, so next we have the cave. It's the one with the poodles and the black doges. So we're gonna try and utilize our um, our tin cat as much as we can. So let's go ahead into our upgrade stage and see if we can get him up to level 20. Uh, because we have been using him a lot and he will be pretty beneficial in these coming levels, I believe. So let's go uh, select black here. And then make our way over, tin cat. Oh, wait. Interesting. Magicka Cat is also. Hmm. Sometimes weakens non metal enemies. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So she's good against everything except metal, including red. Hmm. Huh. That's interesting. Maybe we should. I might use her actually instead of Swordsman Cat because. If she's good against black and red, that's pretty solid for what we're dealing with right now. Let's go ahead and let's hop in here and go into our slot and let's, yeah, let's go to rare cats. Let's head on over here to Magicka Cat and let's replace Swordsman Cat with her. Where is she? There she is. Uh, yeah, and she's cheaper. That's cool. Okay. So let's take out Swordsman Cat and replace her, or replace him with Magicka Cat. Um, boom, there we go. I think she's going to be a good addition to our lineup, because that sounds pretty solid. I mean, she's good against everything except non-metal enemies. And even so, I don't think she has, like, a... She's not bad against them. She's just not as good, you know? Um, so let's go ahead and take on this level. Again, we're just going to periodically send out our... Our Paris Cats to hold off the Gorillas, and then once we have enough, we're going to send out a Bahamut and basically the rest of our arsenal here. It's not going to be too big of an issue, as the, uh, I mean, the big enemy here was the Poodle, and the Poodle got shredded. <laughs> I mean, as long as you can take care of those Black Doges, you shouldn't have too big of an issue. Uh, so now on to Kate, Katachin, Katachin, the hill. <laughs> uh, this one's got a lot of anti, or it's got a lot of red enemies, but it's not going to be too hard, as long as we can send our wall cats here in the beginning, our meat shields, to hold off our minions while we build up our wall cat. Then we have enough for our Bahamut and a few Parises. Gonna send out uh, some, you know, some Magicless, some, art um, some artist cats just to supplement them. And it's going to be enough. It's not too big of an issue at all. I mean, they don't even start sending out tough enemies till you get to their base. And by then, it's game over, you know? So, on to Sunset here. It's the one with no um, specific enemies. So, no traits. So it's it's the more it's an interesting one because you have nothing to 
nothing to that's gonna, gonna be extra strong, you know. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing as before. We're gonna save up for Bahamut, and then we're gonna send him out. And he's gonna he's just gonna shred through every single penguin and and gorilla that comes at us. We're gonna supplement him with a Valkyrie and Paris cats as usual, and then just make sure you got enough meat shields out there to protect him. And they're gonna tear through everything, including those hippos. I mean those elephants. And an easy dub on sunset. And now on to Oasis. Oasis, Oasis, Oasis. So this is the one with Master A again, our favorite little guy. Um, so this one is a little tougher, in my opinion, because, you know, we don't have a lot of, um, we don't have a lot of meat shields on this four star stages, and we don't have many long range cats to take them on. So it is a little tougher. Uh, but we're just going to send out our Paris Cats, the same strategy that we did last episode. Um, and we're going to send out our Paris Cats periodically, um, as often as we can, as long as we got um, enough meat shields in the way, it shouldn't be an issue. Um, avoid using Bahamut, as I mentioned, because he's not a good counter. Um, and then a Bondage Cat here and there, as well as, um, you know, just basically whatever you need. I mean, for the most part, as you can see, like, we're not getting pushed back, we're pushing him back, so it is just a matter of time. <laughs> Slowly but surely, you're going you're gonna to take him out. Uh, the Paris Cats... Uh, they're gonna take out the poodle and the pig in front, and then hopefully, well, uh, if the timing is right, they can reach Master A after those two are dead. Uh, the problem is when um, another minion shows up and blocks your attack on Master A, which is the reason why it takes so long. It's not that he's really strong; it's just that it's hard to actually get a hit on him. But as you can see, slowly but surely, you're gonna you're gonna get him, and then uh, after that, it's just a breeze. So Oasis is done. No more ask Master A. Um, and then on to Snowfield here. And this is the one with the hippos, the metal hippos, and the pigs in the beginning. So again, same strategy um, as before. We're just going to keep Bahamut close to our base and try and take, him, take them out uh, just by protecting him with our meat shields. So again, it's going to be a little bit tougher because you don't have as many meat shields in this 4-star version. And believe it or not, I, you know, I, I got really... I, I should have sent them out a little bit earlier because they do get extremely close to my base. But surprisingly, they never hit it here. Um, and there we go. Bahamut is able to take them out. Uh, they never, I don't know how they didn't hit my base, but they didn't. Um, and then up from there, it's just an easy march down, march down the field and, uh, and take out the rest of the base. <laughs> so uh, now onto our last level here. It's going to be Hyaluronin. Hyaluronin Mountain. Hi, hi, hey, do the mountain. Okay, <laughs> the mountain. Um, so we're gonna send our artist cat here. Didn't do a single thing because he just got one shot. But um, you know, same strategy. We're gonna send on our meat shields to protect um from the uh, you know we're gonna try and protect our Paris cat, and our tin cat, tin cat from them. Um, and we're just gonna hold them off until we can afford our Bahamut. And then we're just going to send out the rest of our army with them. Some Paris Cats, some Meat Shields, as many Meat Shields as we can if you have extra money, which you will. You'll be able to send out even more. And as you can see, they kind of they did a little bit of damage there. They took out the Bahamut, but um, again, they're not too big of an issue. Once you take out one, you know the rest are going to get on pretty quickly. And there it is, our last dub. The mountain is cleared, and the desert is defeated finished um so yeah so with that guys uh we are just gonna end the episode here i know it's a long one it's another really long one um but we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here by taking them by doing our cat capsules we have 14 of them so we might as well do them um because we haven't been we haven't been um but yeah so i hope you guys did enjoy this episode I hope it's entertaining. I hope it helps you guys. Um, if you guys have any advice for me, again, please let me know in the comments. I love chatting with you guys down in the comments. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys <laughs> did uh, enjoy this. I hope you guys are um, enjoying the series. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're going to just finish up here. We're going to see what kind of cats we can get, what kind of upgrades we can get. Um, I want to do these four tickets first. And then we're just going to use all ten at once. Uh, cat? Okay, awesome, awesome. I'm very excited to get our first true form cat. <laughs> um, all right, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Okay, power, cool. Um, crap, wait, that wasn't I. I always forget. I like to save those until I have the recharge one to to add to it as well at the same time. But what are you gonna do? Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do this bird cat as well, and axe cat. I love. I'm really excited to get these cats up. I can't wait for them to be plus ten. 
um, Titan. Because I don't think I've ever gotten a true form in this game, actually. Ever. Ever. So, that's going to be exciting. I'm going to skip that power. And this Cat of Energy. Awesome. And Bird Cat. And Titan Cat. Alright, cool, cool, cool. We're getting a lot of Titan Cats right now, which is awesome. And work Cat Rate. Cool, cool. And... And that's going to do it. Alright, so again, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like down below. It helps me out a lot. It'll help the YouTube algorithm, um, as well as commenting. Um, if you guys did really enjoy, feel free to subscribe. Um, it's absolutely free, and it helps me out a lot. We're at 500 subscribers right now, so we're halfway there to the big 1,000, and that would be incredible. That would that would make 2020 bearable. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to make that sound, you know good <laughs> um but seriously it would make my day so please please consider it and i will see you guys in the next one mr thunder signing out peace